Hello everyone. So this is the last part of the chapter natural resources. This is part three and we have very uh, you know, small portion to cover. We have soil erosion. Now soil erosion means the transportation of land particles from one place to another with the help of moving air that is wind and flowing water. You can see over here, uh, because of the flowing water, uh, you know, it can be because of the rain, heavy rain or uh, erosion by the river. We can see how the upper part of the land, soil, is eroded or transported from one place to another place. Now, soil, as we know, is constructed or it, it is formed after so many years and if it is eroded from one place to another place the agriculture is going to suffer so it is the you know kind of problem or trouble for the farmers normally there are two agents they uh, you know erode the soil one is wind that is moving air and flowing water and because of that the agriculture production decreases it is therefore extremely necessary to maintain this upper layer for agriculture so there are some measures to prevent soil erosion first of all we have to control grazing activity extreme or excessive grazing will uh, destroy the cover green vegetation of, on the soil and <coughs> because of that it will not hold the soil you know roots hold the soil and because of that it is not easily eroded so first of all we have to control the grazing activity then Plantation should be carried out in the contour method in slopey regions. Now you can see over here in the image, contour lines are there, you know, tree line. And it stops the soil erosion. It holds the ground. It stops the uh, speed of the water. Then the roots of these trees, they, you know, hold the ground soil properly. And it, uh, you know, stop it from being eroded so contour plantation you can see in this image also they have prepared contours or grass plantation or people sometimes you know they plant trees also to stop erosion so these are called contour plantation then uh, Construction of check dams where there are streams. You can see over here, cemented here and here with the woods. And sometimes in Gujarat, they say bori band. They put bori means sacks of uh, cements or, you know, sand. They put and they stop the, the flow of the water or they slow it down. It is called check dam. So you have to prepare check them now one more example there are few other examples and generally it is needed in the hilly regions you can see these four examples of check them it uh, uh, it stops and it avoids the erosion of the uh, you know soil there then deep cultivation deep cultivation means here you contour method is there but still there are some trees grown over here so these trees at some you know distance these trees must be planted so that their roots down there they hold this ground and again at a, at some distance another tree is there so these trees help in holding the ground and this contour kind of uh, you know plantation will move the water very slowly so the soil erosion on slopey region will not occur next conservation of the soil tree plantation 
what we can do to conserve the soil first of all we have already discussed that but still it is given again in the textbook so you have to have tree plantation you can see uh, now next point is a uh, tree line to stop desert advancement not only in the hilly regions but you can see over here it was a desert over here then they had this plantation and then now it is green so we can turn any desert into green then you can see one more image over here 2010 this was desert and now it is green you know area so tree line should be erected and to stop the desert advancing so desert will not advance and you know soil will turn into fertile soil now rivers or river flood should be controlled by diverting the flow in other river now you can see one image over here this is not india's image this is mississippi rivers image you can see the major flow over here this is the major flow now 70 percent of the flow remains there but they have one diversion over here 30 percent of the water goes in this smaller you know bifurcation and uh, we can avoid the flooding and when we avoid flooding of the river we avoid the erosion of the soil also so this is how the plants are done to uh, it, it is not common everywhere but region to region rivers to rivers or uh, you know states to st uh, states there are many elements or many aspects we have to st you know study and uh, chalk out some plants like that or like this to avoid the erosion next un uh, you know re restricted pasturing must be prevented unrestricted pasturing must be prevented now you can see this two land here there is uh, you know there was no control of uh, pasturing over here so you can see it is it has become barren and here there was uh, you know ban on uh, grazing and because of that it has retained the uh, green cover now when winds or uh, flowing water flow from this two area this will be eroded faster so there should be planned pasturing or planned uh, grazing must be allowed okay terrace farming must be implemented now you can see this is the image from china we could have uh, the same image from northeastern says this kind of terrace farming you can see the water accumulated over here it can be used for uh, normally paddy farming over there so terrace farming must be done so that you can retain uh, the soil you can have water also and uh, the slopes can be used for farming also there are there is there is another method of uh, the same kind of farming that is called horizontal farming you can see horizontal farms here we cannot have the farms as we have in gujarat but on slopes we can have horizontal farms so this kind of things must be done and it can be uh, you know implemented locally all the areas cannot have the same method but locally we can find out the solution of these problems and apply them and the last one is add humus to soil when you add humus to soil uh, you add to the fertility it holds the ground properly and uh, green cover will be retained and we can uh, save the or conserve the soil over there so this is the end of your uh, chapter natural resources i hope you have liked uh, this three videos this is for the first time uh, we are teaching you with uh, you know youtube and all so i want you to watch this videos all three videos go through the chapter and study the question answers and write them and if you don't understand anything you can uh, you know always text me message me or you can uh, 
put your question down here i have allowed comments in this videos now so till then uh, study well next video will be i think from the history chapter we have already done economics this is the geography and now next will be history chapter so soon we'll upload the history chapter video thank you very much